Hi, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to show you a game I just created. It's called Color Me Impressed. It is about... It's a race. It is also about your knowledge of color. And so, if you want to play it without basically being given all the answers, go play it now. Because I'm going to... Uh, show you how to get through it, and it is a uh, bit of a puzzle, so if I show you the answer, it won't, might not be as fun to play if you want to give it a shot, or keep on watching. Okay, the little pop-up thing says, Hi, it's me, Chris. To design a great level, you need to make sure you understand color. Okay, where'd he go? There he is up ahead, and he's got something else to say. Which color represents fear, danger, and attention? This might come in handy. Alright. Red. Uh-huh. And the wall dissolved. So, we'll get to the next question. Get the three primary colors from which all other colors can be made far up off the floor. Okay. Primary colors from which all others can be made are... Red. You can press X to go faster when you have a jetpack, by the way. I didn't know that for a while when I was first using one. Whee! You want to slow down as you drop it in. Red, yellow, and blue. So you got to get it up off the floor, and then bam, that barrier disappears. Which two colors can be used to make pink? Get them far up off that floor. Okay. One might be tempted to just choose pink, but no. Two colors. The two colors are red and white. Bam. Down goes the wall. You get it to a certain height and then it just goes down. Which two colors would you use to try to create the color of that big barrier, barrier in front of you? Alright. Enough with the not, uh, things here. Okay. That is a dark blue. So I would take this kind of medium lightish blue. And I would combine it with black to make dark blue. What's next? So you think you know your rainbows from top to bottom. Show its outside to inside colors. When I was testing this game, I had an embarrassing moment where I, uh, I got it wrong. <laughs> I actually designed it correctly, but when I was playing it, I got it wrong. Okay, the first barrier goes when you got it red. I did uh, yellow after red instead of orange, which is correct, as the next barrier goes down. And then, after orange, comes yellow. But it was funny, I was like, oh gosh, there's a game flaw. And I was like, no, there's a brain flaw. Red, orange, yellow, and then green. Down goes another barrier. Get that blue out of there. Green after blue on the rainbow. And last but not least, purple. Also known popularly as violet. And then that's the last of those six walls. Which two colors could be used to match that smile-shaped thing that holds colors? Get them up. Smile-shaped thing, huh? Oh, this. Looks pretty gray to me. So, gray is created when you blend black and white. And down goes the wall. Place up top the color that is the absence of all color. Beneath it, the presence of all color. Well, the absence of all color is black. And though it's called a color, it is the absence of all color. And the presence of all color forms white. Believe it or not, that's true. Complementary colors are opposite on the color wheel. If you don't know what the color wheel is, Look it up on the internet, it's a pretty cool and handy little tool. From top down, the opposite of red, yellow, and blue. Okay, the opposite of red is green. 
the opposite of yellow. Purple. So that one's next. Red, yellow, blue. Okay, the opposite of blue is orange. Not so fast. Bam! And onward we go. Remember the primary colors from earlier on? Yes, myself I do. Get the three secondary colors far up off the ground. Secondary colors. Red, yellow, and blue are primary. So, green is one of the secondary colors. Orange is another one. And another one is purple. Now when you try this, it is timed, so you might not want to narrate as much as me. <laughs> so, uh, next challenge, which is the last challenge. Okay, it's seven chakra time. I'll give you the crown. Hint, think rainbow in reverse. Hmm, somewhat cryptic. What do we got here? Ah, the uh, seven chakras, and there's the crown, portrayed as white. Some do it as all colors, but uh, as we learned earlier, white is all colors. So, you might see variations on that, but for the purposes of this game, let's go reverse rainbow. Root. Let me in. I can't get in. Okay. Root is red. The sacral which is the chakra, corresponding with creativity, is orange. Yellow is the will. The will is about the fortitude to get things done, take action. The heart, some say it's pink. I say, in the chakra system, it's green. And then in the throat, we got blue. Nice clear communication represented by the blue. And the third eye. Whoops. <laughs> third eye. Third eye is blocked. It might be black, but in this case, third eye clear and open. Purple. And through we go. Hey, put that wall there. All right. Through this little thing, jetpack's gone, and bam through it. Yes. So there you have it. Give it a try. Even if you uh, watch this, you might not remember everything if you're new to color. So see how you do. And maybe you'll learn the, uh, learn the way through. Looks like someone else already made it through. So someone else out there knows colors already. Thanks for watching.